Well, good evening, everybody. I hope that you are well. I'm so thankful that you've chosen to join us tonight for our Wednesday night prayer meeting as we gather here in this place, this online space, to go and intercede to the Lord. Uh, you know, we serve an awesome God, and we, was, as God's people, want to be developing a, a habit and an attitude of prayer. And part of how we do that is just by doing so regularly. And so I hope that you've been enjoying the time of prayer we've gotten to have together. This week is a special week of prayer. Tomorrow, Thursday, is our National Day of Prayer. And so you'll see in my um, introduction in the morning and evening tomorrow, I'll talk about that a little bit. But for tonight, we want to be continuing our habit of prayer. And so I want to start off just by um, reading a scripture for us. And uh, after I read a scripture, Brother Ryan is going to lead us in a song. And then we're going to go straight into our time of prayer. The first scripture and the first topic we're we're praying over tonight is just um, the sovereignty and, and greatness of God. And we find in Psalm 147 a few verses about that and the way that we can go and approach the throne of God. It says, Hallelujah, how good it is to sing to our God, for praise is pleasant and lovely. The Lord rebuilds Jerusalem. He gathers Israel's exiled people. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the number of the stars. He gives them names to all, gives names to all of them. Our Lord is great, vast in power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord helps the oppressed, but brings the wicked to the ground. We serve a great God who is able to do all those things and more. And so as we enter into our time of song and then into our time of prayer, uh, this first prayer is just going to be a prayer to God for who he is, for what he's done. And I encourage you maybe to take Psalm 147. We just read the first uh, six verses there and pray those back to God. Thank him for the rebuilding effort that he can accomplish uh, as we as a country try to rebuild where we are and for his creative goodness and for everything that it means to be the God of God and King of Kings. Let's transition to a time of song now with Ryan as he welcomes us into worship and then we'll go into a time of prayer. Brother Ryan. Good evening to you and welcome to Wednesday night prayer meeting. We are delighted that you have joined us and we look forward to this service tonight. We hope that you guys are doing well and that this um, message finds you encouraged in the Lord and strengthened by the power of his might. I would like to uh, read a passage of scripture with you this evening found in the book of John. If you have your Bibles handy and would like to, to read along with me. John chapter 14, starting with verse number 15. Jesus says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper to be with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. And I love this next verse. The Lord says, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me. Because I live, you also will live. And that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. What a wonderful passage of scripture, and it should be a comfort to us to know that the Lord Jesus has not left us as orphans, but he has sent us another helper to teach us and comfort us and direct us. And we are told that if we truly love the Lord Jesus, we will keep his commandments. We will keep his, his laws and his words. Amen. What a blessing that is. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. A wonderful Savior is Jesus, my Lord. A wonderful Savior to me. He hideth my 
my soul in the cleft of the rock where rivers of pleasure I see. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry, thirsty me there with his hand and covers me there with his hand a wonderful savior is jesus my lord he taketh my burdens away he holdeth me up and i shall not be moved strength as my day. He hideth my soul in the cleft of the rock that shadows a dry, thirsty land. He hideth my life in the depths of his love and covers me there with his hand. And covers me there with his Amen. Thank you, Brother Ryan, for leading us in song. And 
Thank you for being diligent to sit together in prayer. I want to lead us into our next prayer emphasis tonight. And part of it's just um, going to emphasize the disjointedness we've had as a body. You know, it's it's hard to keep up with one another and find out, hey, what's going on in so-and-so's life or what's going on in so-and-so's life. I mean, at this very moment, we've got Miss Betty McGill as uh, at the hospital, she's broken her hip and she's hurting and, and you know needs prayer. And Brother Dale is down in uh, Tampa. He you know spent an extra night there, and they're coming back today. And um, you know he's is, is got some more chemo to do, and then it's going to eventually hopefully get to have surgery at some point in time. It's just there's a lot going on. And there's a lot going on in our world and our church family, and sometimes it's hard to keep up with those. So uh, you all are getting a regular uh, prayer meeting email, hopefully. If you're not, contact the church office and we can get one of those to you. And that has a comprehensive list of the things that are going on that we can be praying for. So uh, let's let's pray for our church body. And you know, this is something that Paul does uh, to the church in Philippi. It's something that uh, people do for each other all throughout the Bible. And so I thought I would read a scripture for us here from Philippians. Uh, regarding a prayer for one another in this time of need. Philippians chapter 1, verse 1 says, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, including the overseers and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. That's kind of a standard greeting, but look at the next thing he says. I give thanks to my God for every remembrance of you. It means he's remembering and thinking about them always praying with joy for all of you in my every prayer because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And Paul remembered to pray for his friends from the first day that he met them until this very day here and now. So I want to ask you to remember to pray for each other, pray for our church, pray for our people, and that God would just remember them and that we would remember them in prayer. Let's go to the Lord in prayer together. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his sweet. Washed in his blood. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, all is at rest. And I in my Savior am happy. my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior.
Amen. And thank you for praying together with us. Thank you, Brother Ryan, again for leading us in some, some song here. Uh, we want to transition to our final time of prayer now. And this prayer is going to come uh, as a plea to God for remembering not just one another in this time of struggle, this time of need, but also bearing with one another's burdens. This COVID crisis has created so many needs, so many needs uh, in big cities, but also so many needs here. We have people that have lost jobs, or um, I think even about some of the things that I've seen on our social media this week from our friends and our families who have businesses here in town and just wanting to, to intercede for them, pray for them, pray for their, their joy in their work, pray for um, those who are continually having to work and seeing maybe people around them not doing so who seem to be benefiting from that but uh, just who are carrying a heavy burden you know a lot of these people have maybe lost loved ones or or they have loved ones who are working in hospitals or they can't see their children their family and and this is creating a heavy burden on individuals and so galatians speaks to this as a church and what we're supposed to do to help one another so let's let's read galatians chapter 6 together Beginning verse 1, Brothers and sisters, if someone is overtaken in any wrongdoing, you who are spiritual, restore such a person with a gentle spirit, watching out for yourselves so that you also won't be tempted. Carry one another's burdens. In this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone considers himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. So what we do is we help each other. Maybe even sometimes when we don't ask for it. We're tough sometimes, right? We're, we're Southerners, we're Americans, we're Alabamians. We, sometimes we really struggle to reach out and ask for help. And I want you to know that if you're struggling, you're hurting, uh, we're praying for you. We love you. We are sticking with you through this, and, and we want to help. So if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out to our offices or me personally. You can message me here on Facebook. I don't get on Facebook a lot, but you can also check with Brother Ryan uh, or Miss Janet or anybody or Brother Robert, Miss Colleen. Um, we'll all do the best we can to serve and love you and your family in this time. But we do want to go before the Lord and remember each other in prayer and to lift each other up and to bear one another's burdens together. So let's go to the Lord in prayer as we close our time together. Come behold the wondrous mystery In the dawning of the King He the theme of heaven's praises Robed in frail humanity In our longing, in our darkness Now the light of life has Look to Christ who condescended, took on flesh to ransom us. Come behold the wondrous mystery, He the perfect Son of Man, in His living, in His suffering, Never trace nor stain of sin. See the true and better Adam come to save the hell-bound man. Christ the great and sure fulfillment of the law in him we stand. Behold the wondrous mystery, Christ the Lord upon the tree. In the stead of ruined sinners hangs the Lamb in victory. See the price of our redemption. See the Father's plan unfold, bringing many sons to glory, grace unmeasured, love untold. Come behold the wondrous
this mystery slain by death the god of life but no grave could e'er restrain him praise the lord he is alive what a foretaste of deliverance how unwavering our hope christ in power resurrected as we will be when he comes what a foretaste of deliverance how 